Welcome to Brain Academy. Please don't forget to subscribe, like the channel, and also turn on the notification button. Today, we are going to look at dimensional analysis. And I said that dimensional analysis is a mathematical method that involves converting units of measurement from one system to another by analyzing their dimensional components and relationships. Before we move into some examples that you may likely encounter on the course of studying dimensional analysis in physics, I would like to tell us about three main basic quantities used in quantum mechanics. Those three basic quantities used in, in quantum mechanics are no other quantity than mass. Mass is the first one and we represent it with the first alphabet or the first letter of the quantity. Mass, we use capital M to represent it and we enclose it in a brace bracket. Another quantity, basic quantity, is the one we know known as length. You use the first letter L, capital L, and enclose it in brace bracket. The third one is time. You still enclose it in capital letter by the first letter T. That is the three main basic quantities we have in physics. We also have other basic quantities like the temperature, the amount of substance, the uh, luminous intensity, etc. etc. But these are the three main basic quantities that we encounter every time on the course of studying quantum mechanics. Now, examples derive the dimension of the following quantities. We have the first one, velocity. We have the second one, speed. We have the third one, acceleration. We have the fourth one, force. We have the fifth one, pressure. So let's look at the first one. The first one, A, we have the velocity. Now, how do we find the dimension of velocity? You ask yourself, what is velocity? Velocity can be defined as the rate of change of displacement with respect to time. The rate of change of displacement with respect to time is known as velocity. Then, mathematically, we we'll write it as displacement over time, divided by time. So, this is the mathematical representation of velocity. Displacement over time. Then, and this equals our displacement is measured in length. Displacement is measured in length. So we use it as what? L. We enclose L. Then the division sign. Then our time is what? T. In brace bracket. So this becomes the dimension of velocity. Or, you can still write it as L T negative 1. So, this is the dimension of velocity. So, we look at the B part of it, trying to get the dimension of speed. We know that speed can be defined as the rate of change of distance with respect to time. That is, speed equals distance over time. And distance is measured in meter, which is what? The length, then divided by what? Time. T, capital T. So, which at the end of the day, we have it as what? Length per time. 
So this becomes the dimension of speed. Remember, in solving problems in dimensional analysis, we should always try to express these physical quantities using the basic fundamental physical quantities and is going to be based on the first letter of each of these fundamental quantities like the mass the first letter in this mass is the first letter in this mass is m the first letter in this length is l the first letter in this time is t so we should always learn to express the dimension of any quantity based on the first letter of these fundamental quantities. Let's take another one. Let's take C. Acceleration. Now, acceleration mathematically can be defined as velocity. Velocity divided by time. Now, what is velocity? The dimension for velocity is length per time. Length per time divided by time itself, the first letter of the of time, which is t. Now, which equals length per time square. Based on law of indices, this t coming over will become what? Negative 1. So join this will now become what? Negative what? 2. So this becomes the dimension for acceleration. Now, let's look at the d part of it. The dimension for force. Now, what is force? Force can be defined as the product of mass, the product of mass and what? Acceleration. Acceleration. The product of mass and acceleration. Now, your mass, based on dimensionalist mass is what? M. So we have our M, enclosed in brace bracket. Then multiply acceleration. Look at acceleration here is L T negative 2. L T negative 2. So which now becomes M L T negative 2. So this becomes the dimension of what? Of force. Now let's go to the last one, the E part of it, pressure, pressure, pressure mathematically can be defined as force per unit area, force over area, and we know that our force, look at our force here, the dimension for force is M L t raised to the power negative 2 then divided by area is what length times length which equals m this l cancels this l so it might be this one that comes up l negative 1 t raised to the power negative Okay, see you in the next video. Just like I said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and turn on the notification button. And also in the comment section, put down any topic you are finding difficult in so that we will do video of it to help you learn it and master it. Thank you.